I am Daisel and welcome to my channel. The day that I am filming this is the day that I have to pack for my trip that's happening tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm actually flying off to Bulgaria for a holiday. I am so excited. I'm going to meet my boyfriend over there. He's already there enjoying his holiday with his fam. And so I'm gonna fly over tomorrow to join him. And also recently I just came back from Atlanta as you might have seen from my Atlanta vlog. And if you haven't, watch it because it's full of puppies and doggies and it's just the cutest thing. So because of that, I decided to do a what's in my travel makeup bag. Every time it comes to packing, I'm a quick packer except for choosing what makeup to bring. That to me is just a nightmare. And I have a giant makeup bag and this is what takes up like half of my luggage allowance. <laughs> Obviously in here, there's a lot more than I would usually bring because I actually wanted to give you guys options, um, show you what I choose either or. So my Atlanta trip was more of like a city holiday where I could dress up a little bit more, go a little bit more intense on my face look. But my trip to Bulgaria is more of like a holiday beach resort type of thing. So very minimal bronzy makeup. So obviously they're different, but I wanted to do like a whole round up of what I would bring instead of two separate videos or two separate bags of stuff. But today I filled it up to the brim with makeup. So we're gonna open it. So firstly, my makeup bag is from Primark and it is such a good find. My mom actually pointed this out. Good job, mama. Because you can actually open and split into three compartments. This is one compartment, this is another compartment, and this is another compartment. And it's kind of like a triangle shape and I really like this shape because you can fit so much in here. And it's a very sturdy material, very tough, waterproof, and the zippers aren't flimsy. They're quite sturdy and really like thick. So you definitely know it's not just gonna pop open. This has been my travel makeup bag for I think about two years and I have not changed it because it's just so good. This is how the bag opens. Ta-da! The first section I'm going to open up is this section. Now this I put all of like the base stuff. And I'm gonna pull out the first thing which is sunscreen. This is the La Roche Posay. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Anthelios XL Anti-Shine anti um, Sunblock. And it is SPF 50 non-perfume dry touch gel cream. Now it's super important to put sunscreen under your makeup and I particularly like when it's not greasy and it's mattifying so that's why I have that and it comes with a little pump as well. I didn't know this so I bought it so that's really good. And then moving on to foundation. So I either like to carry a whole bottle of foundation or I like to carry tiny little sample size foundations. So a good one is the Rimmel Match Perfection because it actually has SPF 20 in it. And that's pretty high for a foundation. I really like the coverage. I love the shade. It feels really nice. So I think this is a really good size as well. It's not that heavy and it's obviously below the 100 ml guideline but these tiny little foundation bottles are like the best so either you have these tiny little bottles of foundation samples or the foundation samples in the little packet those are really good to bring on board because you can just rip it up and use them. But I personally like this and this is actually the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I went to get the 10 day sample and it comes in this cute little container which is actually 10 days worth of foundation in here. So 
I'm going to Bulgaria for eight days. This is enough and it weighs absolutely nothing. Also, it helps that the formula is really good. Moving on to concealer. I like to have two different types of concealer. I like to have like a kind of a light thin one with coverage and I like to have like a thick one. So I have the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. This is my favorite concealer of all time. It goes with me wherever I go. And I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. So this is kind of a thicker um, consistency that I can use to cover blemishes and stuff. And then moving on to powders. So I typically love bringing loose powder. If I can, I will, and usually it's my Ben Nye Banana Powder, but I'm trying to travel really light this time, so I've got two options. One of it is the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot. I really like this to set my under eye, and then also powder my whole face. As you can see, it's well loved. And my other option is the Catrice Healthy Look Mattifying Powder in Translucent. It's translucent, but it has these colors in it. It's marbled with a bit of white, a bit of brown, and a bit of pink. So it literally, because it's called healthy looking, it gives your face such a healthy look. Um, and I really like this and it's kind of what I like to use when I want a very healthy, glowy, bronzy holiday look, which is what I have on now. Next up is bronzer and I've only picked one, I don't know why. This is the Catrice Sun Glow Mineral Bronzing Powder. It's also much love and this is in Golden Light. It's a baked bronzing powder and I love this for looking like I've just been on holiday. Baked bronzers in general just give you that really nice sun-kissed glow and usually it's either this or my Body Shop Honey Bronze. I don't know why I left it in my drawer, I didn't take it out, but yes, this is what I'm choosing to bring tomorrow. And next up, I'm gonna, I don't know why, but I've actually chucked this in here. This is for my brows. Now I have two items for brows. Usually I don't even really do my brows, only when I feel like it. I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I think a brow pencil is always important to have to define it. But on a normal day, if I am lazy and I don't want to like fill in my brows or draw it in, just a brow gel. I have multiple brow gels, but I've been using this one religiously. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama and this is still in the old packaging but I just take this, brush it through and done. So those are the brow products that I have. Moving on to the other side of my makeup bag. So now moving on to blush, I usually bring one because to be honest, I'm not a blush girl but I have to have it. Does that make sense? And this is, I think it might be my favorite blush, my go-to. This is the H&M Pure Radiance Powder Blusher in Tango Pink. I love this so much. Look at that, that's just gorgeous. It's the kind of blush that sits, that looks like it sits under your skin and not on top of it, so that's why I love it so much. And moving on to highlighter. Now, this is a tough one because highlighters. The first one is a Becca highlight, and this is the travel one, which is super good because it's so tiny and it's enough for the trip. This is in Moonstone, and it like for it being so tiny and to have a mirror as well, that's really good. And then I have the Wet n Wild highlighting powder. This is so pretty. It's in Precious Petals and it is this like nice kind of rose goldy shade. Oh, look at that. Um, it's a really nice compact like packaging. Moving on to eyeshadow. Obviously, I'm not gonna bring all of this, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. I've got four eyeshadow palettes with me. To Atlanta, I actually brought two. And I have an obsession with these tiny eyeshadow palettes. 
I don't know why, but every time Tarte releases like a Tartlet size like that, I have to buy it. It doesn't matter what color is in it, but I have to get it <laughs> just to complete my collection, you know? Um, so I have the Tartlet Tees, I have the Tartlet Pro to go, and this is the Tartlet Flirt. Uh, I just think that the colors in this one are a bit more wearable for a holiday, so that's really nice. Up next, I have the Milani Everyday Eyes Palette. It's a really, really good travel size palette as well, except these are all mattes because I bought the matte one. Another one that I really like is the Smashbox Cover Shot Palette. Um, this is a different packaging because this is the holiday one and I have it in a blaze so it's a different packaging but same inside. This is great for travel, absolutely great. The colors in here is perfect for day, night, midnight, supper, brunch. <laughs> and also what I like to bring around with me is this tiny Smashbox contour kit. Now this was in a holiday set so I don't think they sell it anymore. It's really unfortunate because this is the best thing. It basically just has three shadows inside. A nice bone white, a nice cool tone, brown like taupey color, and a warm light transition color. This is my favorite thing to just do on my eyes real quick. Kind of like the look that I have on now, but this is so good and obviously if you don't have this, I think the Milani one is like close to it. Really, really close. Moving on to eye stuff. I have to have a black liquid eyeliner with me. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. Favorite eyeliner of all time. And recently I've just been getting into browns plus if I'm on holiday near the beach, I like more warm brown eyes instead of like a harsh black line. So I have the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in brown. And then also an eye pencil. This is from NYX. And this is the, damn that's a long name. Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on, waterproof, extreme shine eyeliner. <laughs> This is a brown eyeliner and it is really good. I'm using it on my eyes today. For mascara, I am going with the L'Oreal Mega Volume Waterproof Miss Hippie Mascara. I really love this mascara. It's the one of the few that does work on me and gives me nice lashes. Moving on very quickly to lips. I'm gonna talk about lip liner and I have two right here. They are both from MAC because MAC does my favorite lip liners. Reason why is because the liner is actually quite hard. It's not soft. Yes, soft liners are nice, but to carve out a really good lip, a hard one like the MAC ones are really good. So usually I travel with two and I have to have sore. Always have to have sore. I never go without sore. It's my favorite. I have backups. So good. And recently I have been loving spice. So actually it's spice on my lips today. So these are the two that I'm bringing. And on to lipstick. Oh my god. Lipstick is the worst part when packing for a holiday. You can't pre-plan looks, so how would you know what you need? I don't know. <laughs> so I have a lot of options here, and people who aren't makeup addicts might be like, they're all the same freaking shade. But if you're like me, you totally understand why. I have these two lipsticks from H&M. I love H&M lipsticks. And um, Cream Chestnut is my, is my life. Um, you can just see how it is here. It just looks so worn, but it's my perfect nudie shade right there. It is, it's stunning. And I recently got a new one in Redwood. Look at that color. That is not the color of the lipstick. That is deceiving. And it's beautiful. Look at that. 
and it's new. So I was thinking of bringing it along to try it out actually. Look at that. Oh, so good. And then I have the Bourjois Velvet Lipstick in Nudist. It is very soft, but it makes your lips look plump without being glossy. So this is how it looks like. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's like it's kind, it's like kind of sexy but also kind of cute. And moving on to matte lipsticks, I have three here. Revlon um, Ultra HD Matte Lip, Lip Color in Seduction. This is like one of my like all time favorites. This is how it looks and matched with Soar, it is just amazing. It's kind of very similar to Cream Chestnut, but they're different. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have the Bombs Meet Matte Hues in Charming. This is one of my favorite go-to lipsticks when I have no idea what else to wear. This is like a darker, more mauve color, but it's not that like intense or bold. That's the shade right there and I love this color so much. Next I have the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Barracuda. This is a little bit more bold and dark and it has like more brown undertone and that's that shade. Look how stunning. Up next, I definitely, definitely need to have a red lipstick. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. The color is gorgeous. That's that. How beautiful is that shade? I love it. And now moving on to glosses. I have been obsessed with glosses. And I'm actually wearing the Sephora Outrageous Pump Effect Lip Gloss in XXL Nude. I freaking love this so much. Ever since I got it, I cannot stop wearing it. It's just going to be such a nice glossy lip. And also I have to have my Kylie Lip Gloss in Candy K. Actually, any one of her glosses are really good. Like her light, literally so cute. Any one of the three. Her glosses are so opaque. You don't actually have to line your lips. And Candy K is the perfect pinky nude gloss. So good. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. And Kylie, Kylie knows what she's doing. Moving on to the final steps of your face is setting spray. Look at these tiny little setting sprays. I love the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. It's so tiny. And the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I need these two in my life. If I do not have them on my travels, I will feel like I am missing a part of me. <laughs> These two save my life, they make my makeup stay on forever and that's why I have them in full size and travel size. I am done with my makeup bag. Those were a lot of products to talk through and I feel like I just sped through all of them. But essentially that is what I like to bring in my travel makeup bag. So I actually have to go and pack now. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment below what other products that you have to have in your makeup bag. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I guess that's about it. I will see you in the next video. Bye!